In this series, Down Under, we are traveling through five different areas of Australia, five different mindsets with five different beautiful beings. And tonight in our series, we are getting to meet the legendary storyteller and communicator of all sorts of history, Miss Jane Ferrari. And Jane's going to join us in just a few moments, but let's just say she's super badass. Don't forget to breathe because you're going to be holding your breath, waiting for the next statement that she's uh, going to make. And Jane um, is going to give us a little bit of insight, not only about herself, but about South Australia and the Barossa Valley. So sit back, relax, and I'll see you in just a moment. But let's do a quick rundown of some, just a few of her top hits. So yes, brand ambassador for the oldest winery in Australia that's still running, uh, 170 years old um, in Barossa called Yalumba. Uh, you have been a champion for their viticulture, viniculture, the people, the land, the pride of the winery itself and um, you are the best communicator. I think you're the only one that has that title or had that title in the wine world. What are certain soons or daily practices that you do to achieve your own happiness every day? I've been a night owl. I'm a bit of a morning person. So uh, because I've been fortunate to travel extensively, I always like to get, as soon as I wake up, I like to throw some clothes on, get outside and just make sure that I'm there that first thing in the morning thing, just make sure I'm there because um, I'm a bit of a fan of uh, being above ground. So that's, that's one thing. So wherever I am in the world, that first thing in the morning, when generally, it, I don't mind driving it. And in, in Australia, it's funny, you don't realize that when, you, when you're in Australia, you talk to someone and say, how far is it from Adelaide to Melbourne? And you say, oh, it's about a 10 and a half hour drive. And, and you just don't, because of the distances, the tyranny of distance in this country, you just don't seem to mind that sort of driving. So jumping in a rental car in Memphis and heading down, for Miss, down through Mississippi is no big deal, you know. It's, so because you've got a car, your country's built for it and you just can go exploring. And as long as you've got a, a healthy dose of respect, um, you know, uh, packed in your suitcase, and I've been taken to places that, you know, it's like being, it's like being in a historical postcard one day and it's like being in a film clip the next. It's <laughs> been very good to me, your country. It's reasonably still quiet, sort of five, six in the morning and no one's really messed up your day yet. That, that's, that's a nice moment. What has been the most challenging experience professionally that you've had so far? Um, I think it would be once um, I really got into the travelling role, representing Yolumba internationally and domestically, um, you realise uh, how much responsibility you've got um, because um, a circuit of events is put together um, by distributors, by people in the trade, by sales reps, you know, and and you know, you, you come to town and, and if you deliver, if you do that right, then you make immediate sales, you make ambassadors for your brand and you build um, solid foundations for business ongoing, not just for your house, but for your region. Um, so I think that was the most difficult thing was to keep delivering at that level, to keep being that uh, entertaining, informative but entertaining person that came to town and and built those fortresses and consolidated those fortresses and looked after, you know, the reps and dropped fairy dust on people when they needed it, you know, because people are doing hard yards at the coalface in, in, in the wine industry. doesn't matter if you're a SOM or a salesperson or the folk in charge of getting the wine out of the warehouse to the right spot at the right time, you know. So sometimes you just got to learn to drop a bit of fairy dust. And, and you know, so that brings up... You. We didn't really hear you talk about yourself too much. You talked about everyone else, which is okay because that's what you do. That's the job. That is that's the job. job. You are. I know the rest of the world's going to love this. And, oh, uh, I hope so. Well, they, they better, right? Uh -huh. <laughs>
Hi friends, thank you again for joining us in the More Than Psalm Down Under series. So excited that you were able to share with us on this journey. My name is Kat Thomas with Core Body and Mind, and we are in collaboration with the Badass Crew over at Summation Live. So if you want to find out some more clues and how to be in the Down Under with us during this month, check out at Summation Live on Instagram or at Wine Goddess LV.